I'm very excited for the next comedian. Put your hands together right now for Mr. Chris Messico. Hey, everybody. Man, what a performance at Adam Guy. Holy shit, right? <laughs> I'm sitting here. I'm nervous as shit right now. And let me tell you something. Like, stage fright's a bitch. And I heard that <laughs> the best way to combat stage fright is to picture the crowd naked. Well, it's horrible advice because <laughs> I'm still scared and I got a boner now. <laughs> That's so weird to tell in front of your friends and family. Oh. So, y'all don't know me, but I'm a Navy veteran. Served four years in the United States. Navy. No, 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 no. Please do not clap for me. I didn't do shit. I didn't serve my country. All I did was jerk my dick into a sock for four years. <laughs> they do not tell you that in the Navy commercials. Oh, let me tell you. But you know what? I hope my sock later on from now doesn't come after me, you know, because, <sighs> I mean, my time in the Navy was a blur. I can't remember if I got my sock's consent every time or not. <laughs> Hashtag me too, sock. <laughs> Now, when people thank me for my service, first off, you're like diminishing actual heroes out there that are saving children, you know, you know, actually fighting wars, and I didn't do any of that stuff. Not to say that the heroes didn't jerk their dicks off in the socks, too, but I'm not even a hero. I couldn't even save my own socks. Oh, man, you guys made me forget my next line. Well, no, no, no. Here it goes. <laughs> so the main difference between the Navy and the Air Force is we do actually change out our socks from time to time. <laughs> now, now, I spend way too much time, like, laying in bed, looking at my phone, sharing videos, and debating with friends and family on my favorite social media site, Pornhub.com. <laughs> Go check it out if you want. Um, I, I personally find it more informative than Fox News and with less sexual harassment. Now, I got to admit, it is a bit weird when one of your family members comments on one of your videos. Two stars? Mom, you got to be more supportive here. But I can't help but share my enthusiasm for my conservative uncle's favorite video. Asian lady takes Mandingo's big dick at her ass. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever seen that video, but imagine a manatee trying to slip into a pair of yoga pants. Personally, I can't think of anything sexier than that, you know? I spent a lot of time on the ship and you know, when you're out to sea for so long, everything becomes sexy. It's like, look at the ass on that pelican over there. <laughs> so, my brother's got a uh, Ford Fiesta. And I left my Adderall in it a couple nights ago. The next morning he came out and he had a Ford Focus. <laughs> I'm, I'm not quite done. So, so later in the parking lot, he lost it, and now it's the Ford Escape. <laughs> okay, the first, the second part was better. All right, I see. All right, all right. So I think dogs would be a good PR boost for Applebee's. Go something like I think one of the reviews would go something like this. The waiter came out, dropped my steak in the bowl, and the steak tasted my, like my ass. And then he patted me on the head and told me what a good boy I was. Five stars. <laughs> Conversely, <laughs> oh man, this water tasted clean and filtered. I had to go to the toilet for a decent drink. <laughs> if I could, I would give this zero stars, but here's one star. A snobby dog. <laughs> now, I don't know if y'all could tell from you know me being up here, I am a... Uh, below average height, straight white male. And I kind of resemble Rob Schneider with a thyroid condition. <laughs> Which is funny, because Rob Schneider resembles Polly Shore with a thyroid condition. <laughs> hey. As a straight white male, I wish the LGBT community, did I say that right, or is there more letters? Anyways, I need another letter on there for the straight men out there who have still yet to find the dick of their dreams. 
I don't think being gay or straight is so much as black and white. I think there's at least 50 shades of gay out there. <laughs> yes. Now, <laughs> got one more story for you guys. I'm going to wrap this up. <laughs> just, just like how my intermission someone getting all the laughs. I, I didn't come up with any of this. So one of my childhood heroes, Barney the Dinosaur. I've watched him since I was five years old. So I've been watching about 25 years. He, uh, he's a man in a suit, and that man's name is David Joyner. Now, this guy, he retired the Barney suit, and he moved off to L.A. and built his own firm, or a tantric sex th therapy session firm. Ah, that was hard to say. God. <laughs> just, I'm sorry. I'm just so nervous, and I'm trying to stick this boner down here. So... It's terrible. It's terrible right now. Anyways, anyways, he opens up a tantric sex therapy shop where he charges $350 for f up to four hours of tantric sex with clients. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I mean, he was my childhood hero, but now he's my adult hero. Like, it's amazing. It's incredible. Like, with no condom, too. And I, and I think he's got the right idea. Because, I mean, condoms aren't 100% safe. I know a guy that went home with a girl on Tinder, and <sighs> later on that evening, her husband came home and shot him. <laughs> now, one more thing I want to say about Barney is, like, in, in, his, in his new, like, therapy place, I wonder, I, I wonder what his resume looks like now. Like, what, <laughs> where does he go from here? And <laughs> how many of the clients of his were kids from the show? I mean, they're, they're at least as old as I am right now. <laughs> and, you, and you know that creepy I Love You song that he used to have? The I Love You? I, I think there's going to be a little bit of a remix to the song now. And I think it would go something like this. Get your lighters out. <laughs> I love you. You love me. I bear back for 350 <laughs> with no rubber in between me and you. <laughs> Please don't give me herpes too. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for having me on stage. That's it. <laughs>